Shalom, Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor be unto you. How about Shem Shai? Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who are the true leaders of all Israel on earth today. And salutations to the Akim that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. All right, and to the uh, confusion of face Akim that are joined unto our ranks, to the Akwaf and the hopefully elect that are listening and learning. Once again, all praises, glory, and honor be unto you. How about Shem Shai? By Hashem Rakar Kadash. Um, if you are, uh, unless you've been sleeping under a rock, uh, you know, or in the cave somewhere, you would be very well aware that uh, that three different Edomite nations, America, France, and uh, the United States, no, France, uh, uh, the UK, and the United States, those three nations attacked in Syria. And, um, and you know, the Russians are saying that there was never any proof. They're just going off the fact something that social media said. I saw the thing when Nikki Haley came out and said, and problem is, is that with America, they say this all the time. They always say this and say that, but they never produce proof of e or evidence. Just like there were no weapons of, of mass destruction. All right. Saddam Hussein had nothing to do with 9-11. All these things come out after the fact. OK, because this is all about about them keeping their control, their hegemony over the over the uh, the so-called Middle East. All right. They fight for the Golden Heights and uh, which is in the northern part of Syria, which the uh, the Israelis annexed after uh, the six day war back in the 60s. And. Uh, you know, and we're, we're just getting closer and closer to the end of this thing, but let's. Let this, uh, this, uh, forget his name, this guy right here. I can't think of his name at the moment, but let's, let's listen to him speak. Well, his translator speak. Well, said that he gave the order. I would like to remind everybody that, uh, this is exactly what they said a year ago, a little over a year ago, when the same white helmets reported that in Haid Sheikhun, in Idlib province, a sarin was used. And, uh, yeah, they said sarin gas was used, but it was never. And when they found out who, who, who it actually came from, it came from ISIS troops on the ground, which were uh, mercenaries for America. As incontrovertible evidence, so we insisted on OPCW experts being deployed to the area. They told us this was impossible for security reasons. And eventually it came out that the OPCW received information from the French and from the Britons that they had samples from Han Shei Hun and those samples were studied uh, at uh, labs in France and uh, in the UK, and they said it was sarin. Uh, we are serious people, so we naturally contacted the French and the British, asking how they got hold of those samples, and if uh, the samples are in London and Paris, this was done by people who are capable of operating uh, notwithstanding the security concerns that existed at the time. So we said, why wouldn't you use the same people providing security for all PCW experts so they can travel to the ground and gain access to the samples according to the procedure as specified in the Chemical Weapons Convention. Well, our partners declined to do so. They said this was totally unnecessary because their evidence was incontrovertible. Well, we said, could you please share your evidence with us? We would like to look into those facts and make sure that it is all uh, true. And then they refused. Well, the rest is history. Now, as regards Duma, again, they say they have incontrovertible facts. That's what they claim. To justify the airstrikes they launched. Uh, but all they have is posts on uh, social media and this short video, which is actually funny for real experts. Still, President Macron, who publicly said they had incontrovertible evidence, uh, proving that chemical weapons were used by the regime 
by the Assad regime, as they call it, in Duma. So, basically, um, the, the airstrikes cannot be proved to be 100% legitimate. And, uh, and, and, and we know that, that America has often lied. All right. I mean, it's just, it's just what they do. And this, let me get a quick scripture. This isn't going to be a long lesson, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the end is near, man. World War three has begun and it's just going to escalate and get worse and worse. So expect to see gas prices go up, food go up, more sanctions, and eventually utter total chaos in America. The, the bringing in of the chip and, and this thing is that close to becoming nuclear, which eventually it will. So it's not that much time left. So this is a uh, Daniel, uh, eight and 25. And it reads, and through his policy, also, he shall cause craft to prosper. All right. And shall magnify himself in his heart. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're mag, you know, they're so arrogant. Um, America is. And let's look up that word craft. Um, this is from the Winston Simplified Dictionary Encyclopedia uh, edition uh, with biblical references in craft. It reads skill, especially artistic manual skill, a cunning, artful guile, deceit. Okay? So let's go to that word guile. All right, we know what deceit means. So through deceit, you know, just like that other one, and uh, maybe we'll get that too in the Sirach ten and eight. Through deceit, you know, they trans the kingdom is translated. But let's go to that word guile. Let's look that up. Okay, it says uh, guile, deceit, cunning, duplicity, fraud, craftiness, treachery. Artful trickery. Wow. Okay, so let's finish this scripture. Um, and it reads, and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So eventually this this war is gonna go nuclear, and when that happens. And right as that's happening, uh, who the who the Lord who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ is gonna is gonna show up, and they're gonna stop fighting each other and try to fight the Lord. Okay, let's get a uh, Sirach uh, ten and eight. All right, this is a uh, Sirach the tenth chapter and the eighth verse. All right. And it reads, because of unrighteous dealings, this is very unrighteous, and injuries, a lot of injuries, a lot of death, a lot of destruction of property, and riches got by deceit. So, and this is how the so-called white man operates. He gets wealth through deceit, trickery, murderer. All right? They're just murderers. And then they set up policy to, to ensure that they stay on top and, uh, and arrest the development of other people, especially Israelites. They arrest your de development and then they poke fun at you about having no development. And even while they're arresting your development, you still rise, you still create and they take your inventors and your creations and they put their name on it. And then they, they boast about, you know, they're just deceitful, deceitful, murderous thieves who, who must be stopped. Okay. One more time, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Right? Let's read this uh, guile, definition of guile one more time. It was found in, uh, in that definition of uh, craft. Uh, in, a, in the word guile, it means cunning, duplicity, fraud, craftiness. All right? Deceit. So it's deceit, cunning, duplicity, fraud, craftiness, treachery, artful, artfulness, treachery. It also says see deception. Okay? So they deceive people by telling them lies, and then those lies get written in the history. Because remember, things that happen become history. 
So if they can lie about something that happened just a couple days ago, how much easier is it to lie about things that happened 200 years ago, 2,000 years ago? All right, last scripture. This is Isaiah 31 and 30. Uh, I'm sorry, not 31 and 30, but 33 and 1. All right? And it says, Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. So the nations are going to deal treacherously with you before this is all over, and the Lord is going to deal treacherously with you. You know, and that's referring to the, to the nation of Edom. So with that, all praises going honor be unto you. How about Shem Nabashai and Abad Babal?